Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick follow-up video um, for, uh, I think it's Quickib, QuickIB, I'm not sure how to say it, but he just asked about uh, wallpapers um, in Anime Studio or making or using wallpapers, and he got his an uh, question answered, but I wanted to um, also just show you guys uh, what you can do to have uh, some textures to your uh, walls. So uh, if we draw a wall, solid color, um, the easiest way um, to uh, get a nice looking texture for a wall is to uh, go to Google and just type in tileable uh, textures and just do an image search and there's thousands and thousands of uh, pictures that you can use that are already tileable. You can also make your own in Photoshop or some other graphics program but it's just easier to find something online. So um, I can take this wood texture and just download it or left click and drag it onto my desktop and just uh, by clicking Q and selecting your shape um, go to effects. I already had image texture selected because I just did this um, but you should just go down to image texture and then I have to click on these three dots just so I can change it. Um, I'm going to change it to the wood and uh, open that and it's on tile already so you click OK and then you can um, scale it. No ma matter how much you scale it or rotate it, um, it'll, you'll have a seamless texture. So if I render that, um, I get boards or uh, <clears throat> whatnot. So that's just a good way to get um, pictures onto your um, walls. The other thing that you can do is you can just go to Google or take your own photos or whatever and um, uh, run, just place them in and move them uh, like I just did with the, the um, tiling. But you can just take a big picture like this grungy wall and um, I'll download that and go over here. It's still on image texture, so I'm going to click on this and uh, click on the grunge wall photo that I just downloaded. And don't repeat. And just throw it in there. And you can see that it's actually where the picture stops. It's stretching out the pixels. Um, it's just filling the space. So what you have to do is just uh, resize it until it fills your uh, wall or picture. And then when I render it, you can see that it takes up the whole wall. Um, and there's also one more thing that you can do. You can um, make your own. There's this cool place that I just found. Uh, it's called uh, bgpatterns.com. bgpatterns.com. And it's really neat because uh, this guy made this uh, web application completely free and you can choose different images in here and you can scale the image up or down you can rotate it um, you can uh, oops let me set it back to zero uh, change the color and um, now let's make something uh, change the background and uh, you can preview it on his site you can see it behind here um, and uh, you can actually change the canvas which is really cool um, and the opacity of the texture I mean it, it's really it's really really neat and after you create it you can just download the image and apply it just like I did with the very first picture. Um, we'll select that image that we just made with his web application and we'll hit tile and we'll shrink it down and you got a nice uh, wallpaper. Um, hopefully this guy will add more to this web app but I mean I'd pay for it because it's really cool but I thought I'd just show you guys um, that wallpaper stuff, and that's it.